prototype is actually really unique because on the, uh, the 360, it's the first game that's ever had 7.1 sound from the 360. So what you'll have seen in the demo and here it is the fact that it's really immersive and the technology they're using Neuro Surround allows you to really be immersed in this whole environment. Contact over. The sound in prototype really makes a, it takes a huge part of that. You hear a lot of ambient effects coming from behind you. So it's a, you do, you get immersed right in it and the, the soundtrack is really quite explosive. Personally, I love things like you know the shots of uh, the helicopters and explosions and guys running behind you, you know, and uh, the, the police and the military talking. They're, they're, they're little things, but it's a real thing that creates that whole ambience in the game. And they're the kind of things that I enjoy because that's the thing that immerses you in it. That's the thing that gives you that suspension of disbelief, as they say, when you go in there and you know you forget you're playing a game, you're sort of experiencing it. The neural surround is actually allowing you to play 7.1 through a system that can't normally support that. Dolby Digital is 5.1, the Xbox can only deliver 5.1. It can do nothing more. And what the neural surround does is as the game, as the engine runs, the engine runs in 7.1 and then we encode it down to 5.1. Then obviously the 360 that does its Dolby Digital, it's normally, and it comes out as the bitstream. The receiver then pulls it all back up again. So it's giving you the, the two extra channels that you wouldn't have on a 360 game. So prototype, especially being the first one, it's a great example of what you can do for those two extra channels for a 360 game, which you've never had before. And one of the things is we've been working with teams uh, not only on this platform but on other platforms that they like is the fact that you can discreetly pan sound. You don't have a thing where stuff collapses if too much sound happens. You can access the exact right channel. So you, people will hear as they play the game, you'll hear helicopter sounds coming from the right back speaker and then as you spin around it will pan around correctly because that's the whole point is to make it exactly as if you were standing within the engine. The cool thing is, is that I have the opportunity to give tools to creative people to do really cool things. For example, you know, the guys at Radical and, and Rob Bridget and the audio guys there, and we gave them this tool. And then I come and I hear this is the first time I've actually heard the, the game playing like this, and you're just blown away. You're like, oh my God, what they're able to do with this is incredible. Because I think it's going to be, as Kelly said, one of the, the games of the year. And to actually have the ability to, to work with that and to see such a, an open world game with so many different aspects of, of things that you can do. You know, the, the tanks, when I started speaking to, to Chris Ansel and the guys there were telling me about these, these tanks that you can do and the things you can do with it, to actually begin to see that again, you know, that's the kind of stuff I'm excited to do. Uh, and yeah, I'm a huge gamer. I'm back from the Atari 2600 days. For if anybody in the UK sees this, I'm a ZX Spectrum man. I, you know, I've got the emulators, Manic Miner, and things like that. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a big gamer.